Today I'm going to show you guys how I put in pigtails in Winnie, my dog, my Shih Tzu here. Um, I am not a professional groomer and this is my first ever dog, period, so I don't know how professional people put pigtails in or people who have had lots of dogs, but this is just how I've come to do it um, over the past year and a half here that we've been putting bows in Winnie's hair, so um, I'm going to give you a look at how I do it and I hope you enjoy. After I finish grooming Winnie's body and face, I move on to her hair, either putting it in a top knot or in pigtails. I like to alternate so that her hair doesn't get, her head doesn't get sore in any one place from having her hair banded one way all the time. I start by putting in her part across her stop, and I do this by going from the corner of each inner eye, kind of making a straight line across. This ensures the most accurate part for my dog. Then I comb the hair back, smooth it back, and adjust her so she's straight uh, on the mat. It's important to her for her body to be straight so that I can get the most accurate part. Um, sometimes she'll tuck one leg under a funny way or something and move her head about. Um, then taking my tail comb, starting at the part, the back of her part on her nose bridge. I go up carefully up her head to the all the way to the back of her head where that little bone is at the very back of her skull which indicates the center back of her head and make a part. I spread the hair apart just to make sure it's clear kind of check it along with the features of her face. Taking two of my quarter inch non-latex rubber bands um, I put them aside so they're ready to go you can see here, I am parting the first section of hair. You end up having four sections in total. Um, I start on the, I always start on my right side, which is her left side of her head, and sort of part her hair halfway to the back uh, on one side. Uh, I start out at the corner of her eye, the very outer corner. And then taking my small face comb, I comb through this hair with the fine edge to make sure that it is smooth. I take the quarter inch band, wrap it around once, make sure it's all set ready to go, and wrap it around one additional time for a total of two wraps. This doesn't have to be particularly tight because it's going to be banded again. Then I do the same thing on the other side, um, starting at the outer corner of her right eye, so it's my left side, it's her right eye, or I mean starting at the top, I go all the way down into the corner of her eye. Um, it's funny, on, the, on her other side I start, sometimes I start at the corner of her eye I guess, and sometimes I start at the top um, now that I think about it. But uh, again, I comb through the hair with the fine edge of the face comb, and then I take the quarter inch non-latex band, wrap it around once, fix it the way I want it, and then wrap again once for a total of two wraps. Pulling out any hair, and again, just like with the top knot, I tug at each edge of her eye just to make sure that the hair isn't too tight and pulling up her eyelids. Then I take my bows. These are from Doggy Bow Ties, my favorite dog bow provider of handmade bows, and I put them over each little half pigtail, making sure that the bands are straight, um, that no hair got cut, caught in it accidentally, etc. I do this on both sides. Um, it's important to have the bands of the bow lay flat because then the bow will lay as straight as possible. If they're all twisted up, um, it can lay, uh, you know, crooked on, on her head. Um, I push them down to the other knot and move on to the second part of the pigtail putting in process. I take two of my 5 16 inch non-latex bands and put them to the side so they're ready when I need them. And taking my fine tail comb again, using the pointy edge, um, I have to straighten her out again because she's moved. <laughs> it's just, it's hard to get a straight part if she's not straight. Uh, I start where the part ended from the first half of her um, pigtails and I go straight to that little bump at the back of her head like I told you and I make as straight as a part as possible. Now this is never perfect but like I said before and I have in many videos when he's not a show dog it doesn't have to be perfect and if she was she wouldn't be wearing these knots for competition because this is generally what they put um, in their dogs show people for maintenance knots. 
Now I kind of straighten out the parts so that they connect. Do you see how it makes kind of one cohesive straight line on that side from the, her eye all the way up to the top of her head on the outside? Comb through it with the fine side of the face comb and then wrap my 5 16 inch band around once. Straighten everything out, make sure there's no stray hairs going in, and then wrap again two additional times for a total of three wraps. Now I am three quarters of the way done with the pigtails. I just have to do the other side. Straighten everything out. Again, pulling at her eye, as you just saw, right above her eye to make sure that it's the hair isn't too tight and pulling her eyelid up because nobody wants to have their eyelid pulled up all day. Um, let's do the same thing. I start at the top sort of the apex of her head, and I, I bring the part down to meet the outer part of the first section, so it makes sort of a one cohesive line on that side, so it just looks, it just looks nicer that way. Um, I get a little nitpicky sometimes with the part, but you know, that's what happens when you're a perfectionist. Then I go through again with my face comb. Sometimes I skip that step if it's looking pretty clear, I mean pretty uh, straight. And I take my 5 16 inch band, wrap it around once, do some adjustments, make sure there's no hair that shouldn't be there stuck in it, and wrap it in an additional two times for a total of three wraps for this final part of the banding process because it's more hair. It's both the first knot and the second bunch all knotted together. And that is the lock-in method for the bow. That's what keeps the bows on and keeps their hair straight keeps it out of her face, and we're all set to go for the day. So that's how I put Winnie's pigtails in. So you can see they're not perfect, but she's not a show dog, so I don't mind, and I think she looks real cute, don't you? <laughs> and she's a pretty good girl about it. We've been doing this for a long time. So I hope you enjoyed this little clip, and stay tuned for more grooming videos. Look at the camera, baby.